I am back. What it do, baby? G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to all the sponsors of the channel. All the information is in the description box. And follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. Just watch Guillermo Rigandau defeat Liborio Solis by split decision. And the thing that's crazy about this fight is that. Guillermo Rigondeaux's whole career was on display in this fight. And let me work with me a little bit. Let me explain that. Everything that people love about Guillermo Rigondeaux and everything that people hate about Guillermo Rigondeaux was on display in this fight. Now, mind you, the fight before the Rigondeaux fight was an absolute war. It was no defense, no technical skill at all. Like, they was just going at it for 12 rounds. Uh, knockdown in the fight and all that. Then you follow that up with Guillermo Rigondeau. And the first round, Guillermo Rigondeau was just sitting in the pocket like he did in the last fight. But he got buzzed with a shot. And he was holding for the last 30, 45 seconds of the round. Pretty much after that, he was on his bike from round two to round six. And I don't mean like running. It's just he was controlling distance and moving around the ring. Doing what a technical boxer is supposed to do, and that's part of the reason why a lot of people love him. Then round seven, Guillermo Rigondeau opens up, knocks down Solis, and he just shows why he's so dynamic offensively. And then after round seven, he had one other moment when he hurt Solis, but pretty much after that, he was just controlling distance, um, pivoting, moving, and it just left a lot to be desired. You know what I'm saying? So me being a boxing hardcore, I appreciated some of it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he has so much offensive firepower. You just want to see him just unleash. You know what I'm saying? But that's the career of Guillermo Rigondeaux is between almost like Guillermo Rigondeaux is almost like a cheat code damn near. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? When he decides to box and move and just be technical, it's very hard to touch him. But it's very boring to a person that's not a hardcore fan. But at the same time, Guillermo Rigondeaux wants the big fights. He wants to be on TV and things like that. This performance doesn't help that cause at all. Like, he shouldn't have got a, a split decision victory over Solis. Like, he should have got Solis up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes Guillermo Rigondeaux could be a little too perfect at times. Strictly because he's looking for the perfect shot. And then on top of that, he's trying to stay out of harm's way at the same time. So, man, this victory for Rigondeau, it really depends on who you ask. I think a hardcore fan that appreciates the sweet science would really would appreciate his performance tonight. And people that are not so technical and they're just, you know, the hardcore fans, but they may, they may not know a lot about the technical side. They might just be like it was flat out boring. A lot of people in the crowd was born as well. So... Depends on who you ask, but if you haven't watched the fight, definitely tune in to Showtime. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a replay of the fight, but let's see what happens with Guillermo Rigondeau next. He's 39 years old, so I, I don't know how much longer he expects to um, go on with his career. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.